I wish I could give you the tea, but baby, mine's just a little bit tart, and that's why it's called Leah's Lemonade. Listen, I got a star in the building, not just on a basketball court, in the music industry, making waves. You her. Listen, she brought us home to championship, and when I say us, I mean black women. Flash Boo, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Listen, you just killed the stage in Columbus. Really, you know, to the community. I see teammates actually going back to where y'all are from and giving back. Why is this so important after this historical national championship that y'all come into these black communities and share with the kids? Um, I think it's because, you know, for me, it's like, I think they need to see uh, a person that really did it a positive way. And they got the same thing all these other people got, and they had, they did it their way. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have to exploit myself, or you know, to, you know what I'm saying, to get what I got. And so I think they need to see it. Like you know, it's it's different seeing it on Instagram, but when you, like you can touch it and see it and really hear from the mouth of the person, like it's different. Yeah, and I also think it's something to be said about you specifically because I think when a lot of Yeah, um, it's for me. It's like that's just who I am. Like, I try to ooze positivity. And my my father, he wasn't the most positive record, but he told a story. Like, you know, yeah. he told his story. Yeah. His story was growing up in the, growing up in the hood and having to do what he had to do to survive. And I was like, well, I gotta tell my story. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying tell the kids and what I'm feeling. I want to drop the feature on my album. He already sent it in. It's fire. It's done. It's done. It's done. Done deal. Is it giving Southern vibes? Like, what is it giving us? It's giving a little, little lemonade. It's giving, like, spitter. Heavy spitter. Mm. Um, you know Lil Wayne, he wanted a goat, so yeah. he blessed the track. He blessed my lyrics. Said a couple of my lyrics in his, uh -oh, in his uh -oh. verse, so I was blown away. I listened to it for, like, two weeks straight. Oh, we not ready for it is what you're saying? Nah, not at all. Listen, I mean, what an incredible for you, for your team. I want to talk about the deals that y'all are getting, right? Because it was so interesting. I, I seen an interview that you did where you talked about the fact that someone asked you if you wanted to be in the WNBA. You said, as a hooper, of course, that's the league. It's the highest you can get. But y'all making bread. So what, what is the contrast for you when you're like, first of all, because you're getting your degree as well. So it's like, I got a degree. Obviously, I'm a rapper. I'm a baller. So really, the sky's the limit for where you go after school. Is the NBA, is the WNBA like a big push for you? Or are you like, I'm going to just see where it goes? Um, uh, I want to play the best of the best, like as a competitor. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's a long time until then, but... I've always been my dream to go to the WNBA since I knew that it was a league that I could really compete in. Yeah. Um, but as you get older, like it get more realistic for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, that's going to be a decision I have to make when that time comes. But I'm still 100% trying to go to the WNBA. Well, I mean, you'll think about it after you get that Grammy because that's the goal, right? So, we gonna, we gonna, once we get the Grammy, we'll decide where we're going because that's just the future for you is so bright. And I know you got to hurry up because, listen, she got to go kiss the babies. The babies are in a line waiting yeah. for her. Um, but talk to me about, I want to know your top five rappers. And then if you were to start a WNBA team, who would be your top five women? Yeah. Top five rappers. J. Cole. Camouflage. Lil Wayne, Rakim, mm, okay. Queen, mm. La Tifa. That's my book. I knew you was my girl. Okay. <laughs> top five women starting NBA team. You got your own team. Who who's on Flajay's top starting five? Mm. Arike, Asia. Uh, they, can they be retired? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sue Bird, Brianna Stewart, and ah, uh, <laughs> I gotta go, Candace Parker. I was about to say, Candace, everybody's girl. I gotta go, Candace. 
Okay, okay. See, listen, we love it here. Flash, I want to say congratulations, sis. Keep working for us. I mean, y'all literally turned everyone's head to women's basketball. I mean, really, the momentum. Everyone's excited to root on LSU this year, so I'm super excited for you. Congratulations. Good luck. And we hope y'all uh, popping y'all shit again in the championship because that's what we want to see. Most definitely. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, let people know where they can follow you, where they can get that new music, and anything else you got going on. You can follow me everywhere at Flage, F L A U J A E. My new music for my fans is out right now. Number four, my fans is out everywhere. Y'all go stream that. <laughs> Grab a cup, throw it back, and sip on all of that. Thank you, Flage. All right, then. <laughs>